Welcome, my political friends of the interwebs. First wintry blast of the year, and everybody's losing their freaking minds. Let me tell you something. If they can't handle a few inches of snow, they are going to have a real hard time with the upcoming shit show. All right, what do I mean by that? All right, Joe Biden's America. It's not just Joe. Look, Joe Biden is a demented old puppet. So he is. He's not in charge of anything. There are plenty of people that are in charge. He's not on that list. Oh, really? he's president of the United States. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let me let me give you a little glimpse into what we all have coming to us. Well, not all of us, because some of us have prepared a little better. But for the most part, the future is about to be told. I am an official soothsayer. A freaking psychic. Got a couple of things that, you, you know, here's the thing. Everything's drip, 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 drip. Everything, all of our freedoms are, are, are taken in little increments. The way that we have lived for the last 250 years, all been just snatched away. Just in a little itty bitty increment. It's never one big thing. It's a little piece by piece by piece. In fact, I may call this video piece by piece. I don't know yet. <sighs> okay. Beyond Meat is starting to show up at gas stations, at convenience stores. We all know it happened at Burger King. I got sucked into it. Oh, the Impossible Burger. They've done the impossible. They've made meat in a laboratory. And you're going to love it. I tried it one time, and I'm like, you know what? This is covered in wrong sauce. This screams Bill Gates and the Puppet Masters. So this is Beyond Meat Jerky. This is um, it's plant-based, uh, slow-roasted. Yeah. I'm going to try this for you guys so you don't have to. Look, you know, and I don't... If I have to tell you at this point what's going on in the food industry, if I have to tell you at this point what's happening at the slaughterhouses, at the meat packing plants, if I have to tell you at this point any of that stuff, then you may be beyond help. Or you're just not paying any attention whatsoever. I don't know what squeaky toy they've got you focused on, but you're not focused on the right ones. Now, the next little treat that I will be trying out for you today. Nope. Yeah. Cricket. Nicely packed in this little lovely thing. It, it's Echo Eat. Echo, it's good for the environment. It's good for Mother Earth. Don't you know Mother Earth is about to be destroyed? Yeah. It's like a cattle pride. This whole environmental nonsense, about, it's like a cattle pride. And I am shocked. I'm shook, as the youngsters would say. So how many people have just bought that hook, line, and sinker? Yeah. So anyway, these are big crickets, and they're packaged nicely. They're, uh, you know, they are the bugs that they tell you we will all be eating for protein. Yeah, this is the future of this once great country. And, you know, I know that, look, there are some patriots out there. I get it. But there's a machine. It's a one world machine. It comes from, look what just happened in Davos. I tell you right now, I do not care if you like Elon Musk or not. The man has pulled back the curtain on a lot of stuff. For better or for worse, we know there are people behind the scenes manipulating the hell out of everything. And if you think what was going on at Twitter, with the FBI and, and other uh, intelligence agencies, if you think that was a big deal, you haven't seen nothing. Nothing. What they're doing at Facebook and Google makes what they were doing at Twitter look like a joke. The reason they were so freaked out about Elon Musk buying Twitter was because 
they would get to, they would, he would, he, they knew what he was going to do. He telegraphed what he was going to do. Elon Musk is all about freedom of speech. He's all about transparency. He's all about a lot of things. Now, you, you know, I know people are attacking him and there's this little cabal that's all, you know, and they've got the youngsters who once loved Elon. They've got them attacking him relentlessly. The powers that be are trying to strip him of his wealth. He's paid a hefty price tag. A hefty price tag for pulling back the curtain so all of us could see it. Anyway, should I start with the impossible, or not, excuse me, the Beyond Meat first or the bugs? I'm going to eat these. I'm not going to eat all of it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try them. This is our future, people. There won't be any cows, chickens, or pigs. If you want protein, you're going to have to eat what they shoved. This is, well, in the next, well, <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie Soylent Green, you may want to watch that. Now, why are they doing the things they're doing? Look, there is a myriad of reasons. All of which is one world order, total control. Now, I have friends who are convinced this is end times, and I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I think so. Let's eat the bugs. Oh, oh man. You would think by now I'd have a knife in this car. <laughs> you would think by now. I thought I brought one out, but I did, must not have. My nose was itching. Oh, my God. Here's the good news. They make it damn near impossible for you to even get into this thing. Oh, my God. I might not be able to try this one for y'all because they... No, I can try it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, finally. <laughs> no, another. Look at that. I'll tell you what. These don't... Yeah, I guess they look like crickets, but they're not big crickets. You should come to Toledo, Ohio and check out some of the big crickets I get every year. Some of them, some of them make it into my basement. You know who likes to eat the bugs? The cats. My cats love it when a cricket makes it into the basement. It's feast time for them. All right, let me smell it first. I gotta be honest with you. I can't I can't quite put my finger on the odor of the big crickets. <laughs> it's a new it's a new odor for me. It's not a nutty smell, it's I guess it smells like crickets. I don't know. Let's try let's try one. Okay. All right. I'm trying to get one out. It they kind of they're kind of brittle. Okay, their little legs have fallen off. Let's then get the head. Should we go head first? Is it focusing? Let me see. Here we go. <sighs> By the way, if you've not checked my foodie channel, Epic Smash 88. I do a lot of food reviews. Much more flavorful food than this one. All right, let's see. Maybe this is delicious. I highly doubt it, though. Okay. Okay. It kind of disintegrates a bit. And um, it disintegrates pretty quickly into a like a powder. I, I think these have been dehydrated, to be honest with you. Oh, man, I'm sealing it back up. Two crickets is all I'm going to do. They are not delicious <laughs> they are not a go get you some echo eat but what you are doing is saving the planet from imminent doom
You selfish bastards. Better start eating some crickets. <laughs> you can't be serious with this nonsense. Okay. Beyond Meat Jerky. And you know what? To be honest, I'm going to chase that with some, some pop. At least kind of a funky <coughs> taste in your mouth. And it's hard to swallow because it does it kind of pulverizes into powder. And they've dehydrated the bejeebas out of it. I can't, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, I'll have plenty more to say after this. Little foodie review. And my political channel. Even that smells like some bang bang chicken in, in, in Taiwan. No, it's not Taiwan. It's like the Philippines. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get out of there, you little bastard. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Okay, it kind of looks like jerky. It almost feels like jerky. I don't think it really smells like jerky, though. This is the teriyaki. Let's try. I'm going in for a chomp. Wait, hang on. I got a burp. A cricket. Those crickets I ate, they're not sitting well with me. <laughs> Maybe it's a psychological thing. I don't know. But if we have to eat bowls of crickets in the morning like we do Cheerios, it's just not a world I'm willing to deal with. Start buying bullets. Beans and bullets. Here we go. Okay. Hard, difficult to chew. Um, man, no. No. The Burger King Whopper, to be honest, you couldn't tell. Couldn't tell it wasn't a Whopper. Of course, they put a lot of toppings on, you know, the tomatoes and lettuce and pickles and onions and mayo and whatnot. But you really couldn't tell, and the texture was the same. This texture is difficult to chew. Now, some, in all honesty, some cows are difficult to chew. <laughs> That's true. I almost don't want to swallow this. It's giving off a lot of juice, too. That's kind of foul. I bought these at Circle Tag. The, the crickets I actually ordered on the interwebs. Now. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Nasty as fuck. Sorry for my foul language, but I don't know what else to say. Neither one of these are worth eating, but that's what they're going to force us to eat. Fake meat and bugs. Fake meat and bugs. Buy bullets, buy beans. Buy bullets, buy beans. Or this is our future. Nasty. Just freaking nasty. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Share this video. Like this video. If you've not subscribed to me, please do. I don't even want to swallow this. I and mean, I will. It just doesn't. It's like my body's rejecting it. My body's like, do not swallow that. All right, that's all I got. Everybody take out. Peace.